It looks like any other house, right? Well, what you can't see is it's split in half. If we eat breakfast in the kitchen, we're in North Carolina. If we eat breakfast in the dining room, we're in South Carolina. The newly reestablished state line separating Greenville and Henderson counties runs through Bud Leonard's main hallway. Here's where we are right now. There's most of the garage is in South Carolina, the living room is in South Carolina. The Leonard's is the only house divided, but one of 125 properties that are being affected. We reestablished 334 miles of boundary. After 18 years, three weeks ago, Columbia's Alan John Zupan and his counterparts in Raleigh finished walking and marking the original state line. Neither state maintained a boundary by putting up boundary markers for 200 and some years. The King of England marked the boundary with rocks and trees in 1772. Right here, that's the stone marker. You're in Polk County, that's Spartanburg County, and that's Greenville County. This little stone in Polk County is one of the only original markers left. A truck hit it in 1984. That was another one. So for the last two centuries, how did anyone know where the state line was? There was a road, for example, that neither state would maintain, and the residents were upset. So it just became a big pothole from one end to the other. Uh, we had couple drug cases up there. Sheriff's jurisdictions have been questioned, road maintenance, Duke Power tried to sell thousands of acres but didn't know which state was the customer. The Carolinas have been estimating what land belonged to who for centuries. And now that the original line's being reinforced, it's causing problems. We knew that we were going to have to answer questions to the property owners. No moving truck involved. Some residents are now in another state. That means new taxes, school districts, driver's licenses, voting, registration, a possible new license for one doctor. This is a gas station convenience store. This one's the worst. He sells gas in South Carolina, 18 cents a gallon cheaper than North Carolina. He sells fireworks. If he's moved to North Carolina, what happens to that? Fireworks are illegal in North Carolina. He sells alcohol. His new Gaston County address is a dry county. So you move him to North Carolina, you're destroying his livelihood, and you can't do that by law. But another law, states can't change the boundary. Any change in state boundary would have to be done at the federal level by Congress. So do you ask, can you just estimate fudge a foot or a yard? You can't do that. You can't, you can't just draw the line.